might warn you that archaeology is really, really boring. <laughs> I did. You just weren't listening. No, listen, she and I really don't know what I would have done without you. It's OK. You'd have done the same for me. No. We're giving you a bottle of wine and put on Bridget, Joe. <laughs> what do you think we're doing tonight? <laughs>
Damalais. Shall I attend on you now? Later it's on. When I get back from the river. Alice, what happened? You fainted. You're okay now. The ring. Where's the ring? There was a pain in my side, like I'd been stabbed. I, I saw the blood. There was, there was a fire. There was screaming. And, and a woman. I felt like I knew her. You were hallucinating. You need to see a doctor when you get home. What the hell were you doing in there? Alice, suppose there'd been a tremor. You could have been trapped. This is what comes of having amateurs on a dig. <sighs> Seems upset. Are you surprised? Alice, you've contaminated the site. I mean, what the hell were you thinking? I mean, the police are swarming all over the place. Police? Why? The bodies, Alice, the skeletons? I just picked up a ring, that's all. I didn't find any ring. I dropped it. Where exactly? I don't know. Try to think, it's important. I don't remember. Jew, I think. You went down to the river without him. Oh, course. please, Father, listen to me. This man was still wearing fine clothes, jewelry, and there was something else. The thumb on his left hand had been cut off. Take me to him now. thought he might be someone you knew, didn't you? Hmm. No friend from my days in Shatra. But why would they cut off his thumb? <laughs>
must attend the council. Do you regret, Skuyel? I betrayed my marriage bed. Of course, I have regrets. I mean about marrying my sister. You don't push me too far, Orion. Mr. Widow lived like a nun for the rest of her life. There are other men who could satisfy your desires. And you have a wife who can indulge yours. And yet here we both are again. You can leave now. We both know you'll be back. I saw a chevalier arrive at the Chateau Comtal. Does that mean the Crusaders are coming? Even if they are, Vicomte Tonkaval has vowed to protect his people, no matter what their faith. Help yourself, Sashi. Dame Alaïs and I have finished. I have nothing more to teach you. You are the greatest healer in Carcassonne, Escalon. I'm Lily Orentes. The pupil has far outstripped her teacher. I cannot believe that. I'd better go. Guillaume will be expecting me. Goodbye, Sergeant. How dare you be late for council? I'm not late. If I say you're late, then you are late. Huh. I know why you hate me, my lord. I can't stand the fact that your daughter loves another man more than you. My daughter is young, and she sees only the fine, brave chevalier. But I know the arrogance and vanity of the real man. Alaïs! Remember your position, sister. Will Guillaume de Mar prove of his wife galloping like a kitchen maid? I was hoping to see him before council began. <laughs> Too late. Did you? I know you could hardly bear to spend a moment apart. I can't speak for my husband, but for my own part, that is true. I see no shame in it. <laughs> How much you love him. But be careful, Alaïs. Men are fickle. Their affections change. Guillaume's not like that. Let us go in together. I'm sure we're both eager to hear our country's fate. Silence for your senior, Raymond Roger Tronqueville. One year ago, His Holiness Pope Innocent III preached a crusade against what he called the cancer of heresy, spreading unchecked through our land. The Cathars were, in his words, worse than the very Saracens. These pious and humble men, he said, were the enemies of God. I have recently received news that a northern host of more than 20,000 men was preparing to invade these free Christian lands. They are advancing south and may be with us in under a week. They are determined to persecute and destroy the Cathar people. I have heard that two of the most powerful barons of northern France are amongst their number. Guy d'Evreux and the fifth Earl of Leicester, Simon de Montfort. But I promise you this. For as long as I rule, no man in the land who will be condemned for his honest beliefs. Let each of us worship in peace. And together, we all prosper. All this fuss over a ragged band of heretics. 
How much simpler would it be to have done with it and make a bonfire of them all? These people are my friends. Perhaps. But they will lead us to ruin. We must do everything possible to avoid war. Your wisdom belies your youth, Miss Hero. The Pope has established a new Inquisition to persecute the Cathars. His informers are everywhere. The Pope does not frighten me. I take my duty from God. Even so, it would be wise to worship in private, at least until the crusade is over. I have never made a secret of my faith and never will. What will be, will be. Thou who art never deceived, who dost never lie, nor doubt. Grant us to know what thou knowest, to love what thou dost love. For we fear lest we meet death in this realm of an alien god. Get up, you Cathar devils! Dear Devereux, in the name of God, do what you will with me, but take mercy on these innocents. Hand me a bow. Get up off your knees. Where's your mercy? Kill the heretics. Make their priest watch. This is Monsieur Boulotier, a lawyer from Carcassonne. We have some questions. I understand you're not a professional archaeologist. I'm a teacher. Sheila O'Donnell's an old friend. She invited me to join the dig for a few days. So you're on holiday? Uh, no, not exactly. A relative in Carcassonne has left me a few things in the will, but I, I wanted to come here first. What things? I don't know yet. I'm seeing the lawyer tomorrow. Most people would be curious to discover their inheritance. Yet you waste your time here first. Why? I've always been away. And I don't consider my time here wasted. Or is the truth that you have a particular reason for being here? If you must know. I've just had a really bad breakup with my boyfriend. And I wanted to get away for a while. I am not interested in your personal life, Mademoiselle Tanner. Well, might I ask what your role is in this investigation, then? No, you may not. Just answer my questions, please. I'm trying to. Good. Stealing ancient artifacts is a serious criminal offense. I know that. So? Stop telling lies. I haven't lied. You claim to have discovered a ring in the cave. But no ring has been found. No one else has seen this mysterious ring, so we have two options. Either you were mistaken, or you took it. Which is it? Why would I mention it at all if I was going to steal it? And Sheila will back me up, ask her. She says she knows nothing of any ring. I told her all about it. She went into the cave herself. She went into the cave? Yes, she did. Your back, please. Oh. Search her. You have no right to search me. She's right. Let's go. Let's go. You shouldn't talk to her like that. You shouldn't even be here. 
If I want your opinion, Bio, I'll ask for it. Remember who you really work for. They weren't there. Neither the books nor the ring. Did you search the cave yourself? Of course. But I wasn't the first in. I hope you mean our contact in the police. Not just if Bio. Sheila O'Donnell. And that's the woman who discovered the cave. Alice Tanner. They all had the time and opportunity. Then I suggest you find out which of them took it. There's something else. Someone's been talking to the police about the noblesse. I looked into it and discovered our latest novice as a friend of Bio's. I had them followed. They've been meeting in secret. I think Bio double-crossed us. His loyalties are still with the authority. Deal with the problem. And find what belongs to us, Paul. Nothing is more important. A change of plan. I have decided to bring forward the initiation ceremony. It will be tomorrow. Hmm? It's a great honor. Thank you. Maurice is here. Well. The article, it's fun. They call you, I quote, the toughest bitch in the pharmaceutical business. I think they mean it as a compliment. I don't care what they say. What are you doing here, Will? I thought I'd take you to lunch. <laughs> I haven't got time to eat. Food's optional. Hi, this is Sheila. Please leave a message. Bye. Hi, Sheila, it's me. Oh, I I'm so sorry about today in the cave. Please, just bring me back, OK? I can't get through. Wishes to speak with you. Come in. War is coming, Alice. It's time I told you the truth. What truth? About a vow I made many years ago. Are you going to think I've drunk or I've lost my wits? But you must believe me. I'm talking of the true history of the Grail. The Holy Grail? The cup that Christ drank from the night of the Last Supper? While the legend of the Grail has its place in Christian tradition, the real story, the true story, is much older than that. See, the ancients possessed wisdom that has long since been lost to us. The Grail is the secret essence of that wisdom. What is that? What you need to know for now is that many years ago, I was admitted to a secret brotherhood sworn to protect it. The wisdom of the Grail is contained in three books, and I am in possession of one of them. You? It was entrusted to me by a man named Harif. I met him in the Holy Land. He's without doubt the wisest man I've ever known. Where are the two remaining books? Safely with the other guardians. I heard today from Harif that the three books are to be reunited and taken to a safe place in the mountain. The other guardians? Do you know who they are? One of them. He's an old friend. A Jew named Simeon. Who was Simeon you thought to be found murdered in the river? I was wrong, thank God. But I do believe an innocent man was mistaken for him. Somehow, our secret has been betrayed. What about the book under your protection? It's well hidden. When the time comes, if things go badly at Carcassonne, 
I will tell you where. In the meantime, I really hope I still have time to fulfill my obligations. But if I cannot, you must take my place. The labyrinth is a symbol of the grave. On this ring, keep it safe. The other guardians will know you by it. When the time comes, they will tell you what to do. But why me, Father? Oriane is your eldest daughter. She has power and influence at court. Why not entrust this duty to her? Oriane thinks too much of her own wealth and comfort. Only you possess the qualities needed for so great an undertaking. Keep it safe. I shall wear it close to my heart. These are the devil's lands. It's the fires of hell that warm them. Perhaps God will grant us a cooling breeze once we've burnt all the heretics. Any miracle is possible in the Lord's hand. I'm glad you find heresy so amusing, Deborah. There are some of us who take our holy mission more seriously. No one has ever questioned my loyalty to the Pope and the Holy Mother Church. Why else would I join his crusade? For land? For power, perhaps? I already have enough land. And as for power, I am content to be your lordship's humble servant. Which humility becomes you. Perhaps you can join me a prayer later. Nothing would give me greater pleasure. Good. I'll make honest Christians of these people, even if I have to kill every last one of them to do it. She visits so rarely. Is there anything you want? Must have a particular reason to visit my own sister. Of course not. You are very welcome. Francois said our father summoned you to his chambers last night. What did you speak of? Only trivial matters. Nothing worth repeating. Will you show me your necklace? It's a common piece of little merit. Your own is so much prettier. But still, I'd like to see it. I'd rather not. I fear such poor womanship would offend you. You refuse. If I've offended you in any way... Had you come to me honestly, I might have forgiven you for stealing our father's love, but... I see now the time for that is done.
Hello? Mademoiselle Tanner, this is Karen Fleury, your unsolicitor. Have you forgotten our appointment? No. Yeah, sorry. I'll, I'll be there in a few minutes. Sheila, it's me again. Where are you? Just, just call me back, OK? A will is perfectly straightforward. You can visit the house whenever you like. The house? Your aunt's house. Well, your house now. That was a legacy to you. I was expecting a few family heirlooms and, like, jewellery maybe, but her house? Why me? You were her only living relative. Beyond that, I can't say. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call. Mademoiselle Tanner, this is the private address and phone number of Marie Cecile de Lorador. She knows your friend Sheila well. Tell her everything about the cave. She will explain, and don't trust anyone else, not even the police. Hello? Audric, it's Bio. Eve. The cave has been found. Yes, I know. There were two skeletons inside. And what else? There was no sign of the books. I saw it for myself. And the ring? I just sent it to you. Thank you, Eve. I promise you're doing the right thing. I'm getting closer to the noblesse. I have someone on the inside now. Be careful. Mary Cecile de Lorador has friends everywhere, including high up in the police. Listen, Audric. The woman who discovered the cave, her name is Alice Tanner, Grace's niece. I had to give her Marie Cecile's name. They expect me to deliver her. If I don't, I blow my cover. But don't worry, she's under surveillance. <laughs> Eve, are you there? Eve? Hello? Hello?
I'm, I'm, I'm looking for Madame de Lorador. I was given this address by Detective Yo. Is she at home? Not right now. I'm, I'm looking for my friend, Sheila O'Donnell. Never heard of her. I'm sorry. It's probably just a mistake. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me know. Where do we go inside and figure it out? You're not getting away that fast. I just lost my iPod. I'm well. You don't know why this cop's saying. No. Uh, he just told me that I should tell Madame Delorado everything I know about the cave. What cave? It doesn't matter. Look, I really don't know why I came. I, I thought you might know something, that's all. I mean, I can just call right now, even if she's in a meeting. No, 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 no. there's no need. Just, just tell her I came by. If I should go, I've, I've taken up enough of your time. Well, I mean, at least... <laughs> I came to Paris to write a new book. We met at a gallery, and she said I should hang in Toulouse for a while. And here you are. Here I am. Could I have read any of your books? That's a book, singular. And uh, if you have, you'd be in a pretty exclusive club. It only sold 500 copies. Well, that doesn't mean it isn't good. Thank you. Why don't you leave your uh, your number and then um, Marie Cecile can uh, can call you. Yeah. Hey, thank you. I I'll text you my number in case you need to get in touch. Okay. Are you worthy of initiation into the noblesse of Veritable? Do you swear on your life to uphold its laws and customs and to preserve its mysteries? I do.
we are the noblesse veritable, inheritors of the Grail. And you are a traitor! <laughs> We've ridden out and seen the Crusaders' line. They're two days' march away, maybe less. We must prepare for siege. But at least you all return safely, Messiah. If that doesn't prove God is on our side, what does? Mm. I must speak with you in private, Elias. You must greet my daughter later, Duma. I have business with her. What business? It's none of your concern. Anything involving my wife is my concern. Apologize. First loyalty has always been to your father. You calm down. You must excuse us too, Exon. What is it, Father? Where are we going? I've heard an old friend. Has arrived here from Bezier. Give this ring to Simeon. My friend, it really is you. Simeon, this is my daughter, Alice. So you too received a letter from Harith. Mm. Would you mind waiting in the other room? The Book of Numbers. Your father already has the book of words. Each of us, according to our skills. What of the book of Persians? I thought that too was in your care. It was collected by Harith's messenger, a wise and learned woman. I never learned her name. Harith's letter did speak of a sister in Carcassonne. Tell me more about Harith. Harith? is the navigator. He's responsible for preserving the secret of the grail. Years ago in the Holy Land, he appointed us all to our tasks. He's the finest man I ever met. I know the book will be safe in your hands, Bertrand. Keep well, Simeon. I fear our enemies are close by. Are you mad? Alais and our father conspire to mock you. They treat you with contempt. Do not toy with my affections. You speak of lust. It's not affection. And what if I were to say you forced yourself on me? Your honor would be stained forever. My sister has a ring of unusual design she wears around her neck. Bring it to me. For the next 
for all to shame on Ben. If you care about your marriage at all, you will bring me that ring. I want to find her. Mm. Then you better hope my sister has a forgiving nature. You mean half, sister. Santos. Well, God bless your holy endeavor. Do you think I care about this preposterous crusade? I have a much greater purpose. Now, who are you and what do you want? My name is Arnold de Merck. I'm Tolkien de Vropes, well, for news of in Tondon Palettier. I saw him in the Jewish quarter in Carcassonne with a man named Simeon of Bezier. Who is this Simeon? He's a bookbinder, a Jew, recently arrived in Carcassonne. Tell me, did Simeon bring three books with him, very, very old and, and precious? I didn't see any books. And who else knows of this? No, no, no. Oh, I told no one, my lord. Good. Good. Brown him. And find me this Jew. Tell me, Francois, you're familiar with the talk below stairs. What do the maids and servants say about me? Well, you are greatly respected, Dan. I don't gossip about the circumstances of my birth. No rumors about my mother. None that I know of. Tell me the truth. Or I will rip your tongue out. What have you heard? Well, there is vile talk that Anton Long Pelletier is not your father. It is tavern prattle. No more. And who is my true father? They say your mother whored herself with a passing ballad singer while Pelletier was in the Holy Land. The Intendant took her back for the sake of his honor. He could never love you. The living proof of his wife's sin. But there's not a word of truth in any of it. Do people laugh at me behind my back? A whore's daughter, the cuckoo and Pelletier's nest. But no, no one would dare. <laughs>
Where is Sheila? I don't know. She, she's disappeared. I know her. She wouldn't be stupid enough to steal from me. This Catholic fixation of yours puzzles me. My religion is my own affair. Narrow religious beliefs have brought nothing but misery to humanity. Only the noblesse has the vision to lead the human race. There's no place in our ranks for the enemies of enlightenment. I assure you, my first loyalty is always to the noblesse. Your heart is beating very fast. You are a very attractive woman. Enough to make any man's heart race. It isn't because you're lying. Find the ring and the books. I don't tolerate failure. Damalais, your sister's looking for you. Safeguarding your reputation. Found this in my chamber. Belongs to you. Haven't seen Sheila since yesterday, and frankly, I've got enough on my plate without her just taking off like this. I'm worried about her. Because she's not returning your calls? Yes. Are you surprised? You've put this whole project in jeopardy. We've had the dig suspended and for God knows how long. Look, we've known each other a long time. This is not like her. She was pretty upset, and my guess is she's just not talking to you. Believe me, if she was angry, she would let me know. She wouldn't just ignore me. When she calls me, I'll let you know. Hey. Well, this is Alice. We, we met yesterday. I know. How are you? I'm good. Um, look, have you said anything to Marcel Sylvia? yet? No. I've changed my mind. Don't. Why? Is something wrong? Uh, no, no, not exactly. It's just, um... You know that policeman, the one who gave me the address? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been killed. They hit and run. <laughs> well, you're not, you're not saying she had something to do with it. Uh, no, no, I, I don't know. It's, it's probably... just a coincidence. Um, look, I really don't know what I'm saying. I should go. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Alice.
Excuse me. Excuse me. Aren't you sending me in the book binder? Fortified Citadel Massacre. Rumors have long persisted that Grail was smuggled from the besieged Citadel on January 1244. Shortly before the final defeat of the Cathar people.
Will, I don't expect to hear from you again. Listen, did you find your friend yet? No. Um, well, maybe I can help. I mean, to be honest, I could use someone to talk to. Okay. Sure, but I'm in, I'm in Carcassonne. All right, well, just text me your address, and then uh, I'll let you know when I'm on the way. Look, I should warn you that something really weird is happening to me right now. I can do weird. Hello, Anais. I come to ask you a question. Ask me anything you like. Have you too received a letter from Harif? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't believe you. Who better than a healer to guard the book of potions? Why have you never told my father you were the other guardian? But fewer people knew the safe for the books. What are you doing here? My father sent me to fetch you. Why? He said it was a private matter. Leave those alone. What is it you really make here, Esculamon de Servion? Potions and spells for the weak-minded. Women have been burned as witches for less. I'm a simple healer, Oriane. I use nature's way, that is all. I'm ready to go now. I assume work to dismantle the choir stalls in the cathedral has begun. Yes, Bishop Rushford is not pleased. He's unused to sleeping on a stone floor. The city's fortifications are more important than the bishop's comfort. True. We need every piece of timber we can lay our hands on. Father! Uh, my daughter. Yes. A moment, monsieur. Thank you. Yes. What is it? Gee, I'm busy. You asked for me, Father. No. Some game of Orient. I was with Esclamon. The healer? Yeah. Well, what of it? She is the sister who wrote you about. The other guardian. Are you certain? Right. I'll see as soon as I can. Safety in the city comes first. Carcassonne is safe, the books are safe. What, Orion? Can she be trusted? Well, she has no reason to betray us. And you do not see the darkness in her heart. Hey, you're snacking. There's a jug left unbroken. Well done. Where is he? What are you doing? You should leave at once, or you will have my father to answer to. Bye. They find it. No, no danger of that. <sighs> Try to stay hidden until my father arrives. He'll know what to do. They call them most of Jerusalem. Catholic penitents would walk these labyrinths to the center, symbolizing a growing closeness to God. 
There's a famous labyrinth in Charles Cathedral. Apparently, it's rumored the Holy Grail is buried underneath. Well, has anyone ever looked? And we're just finding out it's not there. No, that'd be bad for business. So what's going on with you? I'm having uh, an 800-year-old deja vu. Okay. I don't know. You probably think I'm mad. I think you're mad. I keep seeing this girl from the past. Sometimes she's in my dreams. Sometimes she's standing right in front of me. Earlier, I was in the church, and I saw her. She came towards me. She was looking me straight in the eye. She was upset, but it, it felt like she was in danger. And it feels like maybe I am too. I don't know, and this, this stuff with, with Bio, the policeman, that he was killed, and, and the visions, it feels like it's linked. This guy was murdered yesterday. And? Marie Cecile was one of the last people who see him alive. So if you're right about this cop, then that's two dead people in 24 hours with a direct connection to her. You really believe she's connected to this? She's been acting a little strange recently, and to be honest, I don't, I don't really know anything about her. And I need to find out. the books, Simeon. Did you give them to Pelletier? I will find the grail. Note that well before you die. Come, tell me where the books are. I'm going to flip this coin. If it's heads, I'm going to stab you. If it's tails, I'm going to flog you to death. Now, that's going to be very exhausting for me. And it's going to be a damn sight more uncomfortable for you. But it's your choice. The whip or the blade. Or, you could tell me where the books are. Sir, I'll pray for your soul. Yit Kadar, Yit Kadash, Shmei Raba, Bialma, Ibada, Kibuke.
taken the ring. I told you I never even saw it. It must have been the earth. What about Alice Tanner? She has nothing to do with it. Why is Marcia still doing this to me? She doesn't even know you're here. But she thinks you have betrayed her. Why? Do you know why I am here? Someone must stand against the blasphemers. Someone must take God's side. have to suffer, Sheila. Hmm? Just tell me what I need to know. I'm, t I'm telling you the truth. <clears throat> Beo took the ring. He was supposed to give it to Mari Cecil. So then why didn't he? I don't know. I don't know. Why does this ring matter so much? Mari Cecil thinks it's the key. What? Murray, Cecile, she thinks it's the key to the labyrinth. I don't know any more than that, I swear. I swear. Are you going to call Marie Cecile now and read her this? Word for word. Be natural. Uh, I... Just do it. It's sweet. Hello? Mari Cecile, it's Sheila. I have the books and the ring. I want 20,000 euros. Meet me at the cave tomorrow at six. Well done. The legend of the came to run.
By now, Alice, you will know something of the mysteries of the labyrinth. If you come, I will do my best to give you the answers you crave. I have waited for you so long, but only you can now decide your own fate. Perhaps your dreams are already leading you to me. I pray it is so. Been in the chapel praying, but I do not think my words flew up to God. What I could think of, for the many wrongs I've done you. Monsieur, dame, come quickly. What is it, father? Know it. We must teach these barbarians a lesson. 
Archers! We fight for our tradition! We fight for our honor! We fight!